My uh, great uncle, Joe Webster, he uh, was in the sheep business. And he had a lot of his friends and other people in the sheep business that lost their sheep out west out here on account of that. That's part of it. Another thing was when I was in about, uh, I don't know, grade school anyway, uh, it was one of our assignments in school to get up on the day of the test and watch the place light up and then go dark again after the thing. It was about 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, that was part of it. Another thing, uh, another little tale I ought to tell you is when I was in college. We were having a speech class. And one of the guys in the class, we were doing a demonstration speech. One of the guys in the class had done a little prospecting and he had a Geiger counter. He brought out a clump of sagebrush ran his Geiger counter over that, and it just about jumped off the thing, and he said he picked up the sagebrush out west here. Well, my dad worked on the railroad. He uh, was out, as I say, out west all of, uh, you know, working on the railroad, on section, and he told the story, now I don't know this for a fact, but he told the story about one of the guys on the section that had a wool collar on his coat and they come out to check him and again you know the uh, Geiger counter kind of went off the scale and they buried his coat out along the railroad tracks. They weren't being told much about it. There was a test going on over in Nevada and if you look to the west, you'd see the big flash, and you'd see, you know, that was pretty much all it was. Now, I bet I was told later that, okay, we have a predominantly bleak breeze from the southwest through this area. And I was told later by, by you know, could have been a, just rumor and stuff like that, but they picked that part of the country, that Nevada part of the country, because here in Utah we were more of a sedentary population and that they could actually study us because of the sedentary Mormon population that was in this part of the country. I've had no trouble with uh, cancer or anything like that. I never have. I'll, in fact, I'm fairly healthy for a 70 four-year-old man, but uh, I think personally that it did genetic damage because between my wife and I, well, we had uh, two boys that one died shortly after birth, the other one lived for about three months, well, six months, about six months with a, a condition that's not ne ne necessarily a normal condition. It was nephritis or nephrosis. I don't know. One of the sisters, anyway, uh, he had kidney problems and he lived. It was where he, his body would absorb the urine and his little belly would swell up and he'd eliminate the proteins. My thoughts was it's a damn shame it had to go on. And uh, I don't know where we've, where the prevailing wind pattern is from the southwest here and they shout it just downwind of us. I mean, you know, <laughs> that's just, seems like they were probably making it bad for the whole rest of the United States because that's where the, the wind comes from that direction and spreads it all over the United States.